Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime. Today's book is What Makes Day and Night by Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Arthur Doros. This is a Let's Read and Find Out science book. What makes day and night? What makes day and night by Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Arthur Doros. What makes day and night? We all live on the earth. The earth is our planet. It is round like a big ball and it is spinning. It's hard to believe the earth is always turning because we don't feel any motion. This is because the earth spins smoothly, always at the same speed. This is a photograph of the Earth. It was taken by a camera aboard the Apollo 17 spacecraft. You can see that the Earth is round. If you were way out in space and watching the Earth, you would see it spin. The Earth spins around once in 24 hours. Light from the sun falls on one half of the spinning earth. The half in the light has day. The other half is dark. It is in the earth's shadow. That half has night. As the earth spins, we move through the light into the darkness and back again. We have day and night. Imagine you are in a spaceship high above the North Pole. Imagine you can stay there 24 hours and watch the Earth make one complete turn. As the Earth turns, we have sunrise, daylight, sunset, and night. People at A have sunrise. Later, because the earth is turning, they are at B. It is the middle of the day for them. It is noontime. As the earth turns, it carries them to C. They have sunset. By the time they reach D, it is the middle of the night for them. It is midnight. At the end of 24 hours, they have sunrise again. You can see how we move from daylight to darkness by doing an experiment. You will be the earth and a lamp will be the sun. Stand so that your left side is toward the lamp. Hold your arms out all the way. Your left hand points toward the lamp. This is sunrise. Stay in the same spot. Keep your arms out from your sides and turn to your left. Now the lamp is in front of you. It is the middle of the day. It is noontime. Sunset. Keep turning until your right hand points toward the lamp. You are turning away from the light. It is sunset and night. Keep turning until your back is toward the lamp. It is night, but your back is in daylight. Half of you is always light and half is dark. It's the same with the earth. The earth is always turning. It never stops. Round and round it goes, and it goes very fast, about 1,000 miles an hour. 
As the earth turns, we are always moving from day to night and from night to day. You can see this happen. If you are awake very early, you can see sunrise. The earth is moving you toward the sun. The earth keeps turning. Later in the day, we begin to turn away from the sun. You can see sunset. About 24 hours after sunrise, the sun will rise again. It all happens because the earth is spinning around. As the earth turns, the sun seems to move across the sky. The moon's a pretty interesting place, but two weeks of night. If you were on the moon, you would also have day and night, but the moon spins very slowly, so days and nights are long. Places on the moon have two weeks of daylight and then two weeks of darkness. During one night on the moon, the earth spins around 14 times. The turning of earth gives us about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. That seems just about right for all of us on the planet earth. A message from Roma Gans, Professor Emeritus of Childhood Education, Teachers College, Columbia University. Children want to be up to date. As children read or are read to, they feel themselves stretch in importance. This is a feeling that all children should have in growing up. Let's read and find out science books are designed to help them acquire this feeling. They are planned for the child who is eager to know. Let's read and find out science books present basic science information, are written with an understanding of how children think, are brief enough for young children to cope with, and are long enough to challenge them. What Makes Day and Night by Franklin M. Branley Illustrated by Arthur Doros Let's read and find out Children's Reading Institute, Durham, Connecticut. What Makes Day and Night, text copyright 1961 and 1986 by Franklin M. Branley. Illustrations copyright 1986 by Arthur Doros. Published in hardcover by Thomas Y. Crowell, New York. First Harper Trophy Edition, 1986. Harper and Rowe, Junior Books. Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime.